Hunting is dangerous. You can go hungry. You can get hurt. You can get killed going out and hunting. Whereas what Utok is doing now... From trucks, derriere, to scoops, sweet rolls, little debbies, meat seat, jiggle jam, pudding cups. Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys, girls, and all of our non-binary friends, and welcome to this a brand new day. Hope you smokes. This is like the fourth time I have had to, to restart doing this. I keep coughing or just drifting off and t speaking of things that are boring even to me, so thumbs up on that. It is a brand new day. I slept, and I actually partially remembered that I was dreaming last night. Something pretty rare for me. I have dreams that are a lot of, they're not open spaces. I have the tight, confusing building type dreams. When I speak of like my weird cosmic horror settings of bureaucratic slash architectural horror, I have a lot of dreams that are like that. I haven't been able to remember them for a long time, but that one last night, it was architectural slash bureaucratic horror as a background, so thumbs up on that. And of course, front loading of videos. Thank you, YouTube. Hey, if you could toss me a like, that'd be very cool. If you could subscribe to the channel, very awesome. And if you could leave me a comment, I love comments, definitely a thumbs up on that. And I do wish to thank each and every one of my Patreon patrons, these literally beautiful and literally awesome people who help to keep me alive. The cost of living is far outpacing what my disability brings in. And without these people, I would not be surviving. So thank you each and every one of these beautiful and awesome people. If you would like to become a beautiful and awesome person and help me survive, <clears throat> there are links to my patron in the video description. And if you'd like to help me out without becoming a patron, there's links to a PayPal. And if you'd like to help me out without sending any money at all, there's an Amazon wishlist link on it with a ton of cat food on it. So if you could check that out, that'd be very cool. Front loading of video over. Okay, smokes, now my nose really itches up inside. Ah. Oh. I am having sinus issues. Yay. Fun being a human being. Oh, ow, ow. Ah. And I can't remember what video I was watching, but that reminded me. There was one, I think it was an NXR Plays video with Henry and Jeannie, if you know who those two are. They were watching this one one woman who'd won an award and for a sporting thing. And she noticed in the thing when they zoomed in on her face that her nose was broken. And that was the first time she'd noticed that her nose was broken. And it was like, wow. I mean, you can get caught up in stuff and you have hormones running through your body. It blocks pain like that so that you can find out you've got a big old curve in the bridge of your nose because your nose got broke. Luckily, it's easy to fix, but still, oof da. Past that, not a whole lot has been happening. I mean, I keep having to take half a guanfacine tablet at the moment for my blood pressure because I am taking the Stratera, which raises my blood pressure a little bit. One of the side effects of that is, of course, falling asleep, sleepiness, and so I'm falling asleep more than I wish, but I'm still working around that. I didn't get a ton done yesterday, but I made one of the phone calls that I wanted to make. I haven't gotten any word back yet. This is the second time this week I've called, and they haven't called back, so gotta keep trying. Yay. When I went to the VA last and they gave me an EEG and they said that I was having issues with my heart and they were just going to monitor until I had, you know, real symptoms like cardiac pain or fainting. Well, I've been out walkies the past couple. I don't get it a lot, but I think some of the issues that I was feeling, you know, going, gosh, is this my sternum, whatever, is cardiac stuff. <sighs> And there have been times when I've been out walkies that I haven't felt like I was going to faint in the slightest. But at the same time, down was sort of going like this underneath my feet. It wasn't just straight down. It was all a bit drifty. Uh, I have been terrified of cardiac stuff my entire life. So yay. <laughs> Uh, Got to keep watching it, and if things get worse, you know, see what's going to happen. Hopefully, nothing terrible. If it was caused by the Ritalin, and it caused damage that way, hopefully there will be healing. Hopefully there will be something else, because every EEG I've ever had up to taking Ritalin has been fine. After taking Ritalin, now I've got the issues, so, yeah. 
past that though, what else I have on my list is nothing. I didn't really do anything. I fell asleep, a, not a lot, but a fair amount yesterday. Never for more than like a half hour at a time, maximum. And so I was good up until I fell asleep and then it was great after. So even after I'd fall asleep, I go, wow, hey, it's one o'clock. I still got the rest of the afternoon left. Instead of, uh, what time is it, three? Uh, and then being able to wake up again around four. So it's it's working out okay still. Has that. The only thing I've really been doing is trying to think creatively as I've been going on walkies and still going on walkies. I do want to take my video camera out because I don't have a camera with a phone. So it's a little handheld video camera. And I'm going to take that out again and do some recording around town because now when I get back close to, you know, 930 or so, it's still sunny outside. So I'll still, I'll still, I'll be able to take videos even if I go on a late walkies and still have stuff. And since, well, I can't grab it, <clears throat> but I can see my card reader on my desktop there. Since I have the card reader and it uses a memory card, all I got to do is pop it out, put it on the computer, put it in the editor, and then we'll go from there. I still have stuff from Christmas that I want to do. So hopefully with the Stratera, I'll be able to start getting these things done. But as stated, been doing a lot of creative thinking because really there's nothing else that's been happening. I mean, I've been moving my stuff around. I've been trying to do phone calls and such like that. But the past couple days, especially over the weekend and up to today, yeah, it's just not much is going on yet still. So that's okay. <coughs> But I do wish to speak more of my creative endeavors of a year, a day in the life, a year on the razor's edge, and I'm still working on Utok quite a bit. I fixate at times, I know that, I'm good at hyper-focusing and hyper-fixating, I have severe ADHD, and right now I am hyper-fixating slash focusing on the character of Utok. Which, if you've been paying attention, or you're, you know, if you've been listening, paying attention makes it sound bad. If you've been listening for a while or anything like that, you know what Utok and who Utok is, sort of. If you kind of know with my whole setting, oh boy, that's a lot. But it's a fictional setting, and there's a transitional area where there is one horrific being that devours human beings horrifically for its survival. And right now it is being very, very cruel and violent. Well, they. Cruel and such and poking the bear at one of the other characters, the King in Crimson, a very powerful being as well. I'm going to pretend that you know the rest past that because I don't just want to have to start from scratch and explain it all. Hopefully I'll get that all done again here soon. But for right now, one of the big main points that I've been thinking on and stressing is nobody is really going to be trying to do anything about Utok. And one of the reasons that the King in Crimson still contacts Utok and, you know, says take care of yourself is because as vile as Utok is, because Utok does devour human beings for its own sustenance and survival. It has to do that. But the fashion in which it does so is horrific. But it's not evil in this. It's not trying to do worse than it is. In fact, Utok has, through hundreds upon hundreds of years of experimentation tried to find the best way to devour human beings. Every emotional state has been attempted. Every physical state has been attempted. Bliss, euphoria, happiness, melancholy, agony, terror. Every physical state, once again, euphoria, bliss, uh, at post-exercise, post-bedroom entertainment, agony. And the difference between the quantum knotting and the field-infused meat of the human being they devour between someone who is given mind-breaking agony and mind-breaking terror versus any other state that we can be in 
Is any other state besides mine destroying terror and agony? Is like eating, you know, overcooked, tasteless, dry steak where the only seasoning you have is salt and you gotta chew and chew and chew before you can finally swallow that mouthful. Versus when we're in agony and in absolute terror, oh, oh, that steak is glistening. It is dripping. It melts on your tongue and it just falls off the bone with its own taste and flavor and those spices that bring out every nuance. Well, yeah, Utok does, it takes about a week to die and you're taken apart molecule by molecule and kept alive and conscious and able to watch and feel this occur to you as long as possible just because it tastes better and is more nutritious. Should we come up with that sort of nutritional in impact in another state, it would do that. But we don't, so they don't. All that pain, all that agony, all that horror, it's just, oh, because it makes us taste better, more nutritious. There is no hate or anger or anything be like that. Utak doesn't care enough to hate us. Which, of course, there is the Apple Rock Kaiju, which loathes and despises humanity with a deep and abiding hatred. And it just, when it eats, it just wads people into its mouth a few bites and then swallows of the chewed up tangled meat. If it could do what the Utak does, it would, because it hates us. And if Utak could get the same stuff out of us just by, hey, you know, quick squish, or hey, now you're happy, squish, it would. Kind of ironic that the both of them have the, uh, I hate you, wish I could do this. Well, I don't, but yeah, it does happen. So joy on that. They're not evil per se. There are no wishes or desires for expansion or colonization. And in fact, if Utah could survive without devouring human beings, we'd never even know they were there. They'd stick to their own domain. Once they knew it was someone like the Pale, not the Pale King, but the King in Crimson, yeah, they'd still come out and start poking the bear. But there'd be no need otherwise. No one would ever see Utaka otherwise. They don't care enough. So when they're on the southern, the southern, when they're in the transition area of the crossroads and they're dragging people in, yeah, it's bad. Because Utak has thousands of webs that go through hundreds of thousands of layers. And people are getting snagged in these all the time and are ending up right on their doorstep. But it is a tiny, tiny subset. Utak is looking for like a fraction of 1% of all the kinds of people that are out there. All the rest of us, we are poor grade fatty, just you know, fed on scraps, junk meat. Who'd want to eat that? By being very selective, they just get the best of the best. And why go hunting as an ambush predator? Another thing makes them not a threat. Why go hunting? Hunting is dangerous. You can go hungry. You can get hurt. You can get killed going out and hunting. Whereas what Utok is doing now, well, about 10 times a day, there's a, a DoorDash delivery of a five course delicious and nutritious meal dropped off free of charge. Why go out and risk your life when you've got that happening? All they have to do is just open up the door and say, oh, thank you so much. Whereas hunting, oh boy, it's 
So yeah, Utak has no desires for colonization or imperializing or even expanding and growing. They are a threat, but if you're not the target demographic, they're, Utak isn't gonna bother you. Now, if you are the target demographic, of course, if you get snagged on one of those webs, you will find yourself right in front of Utak's door. And again, as much as I put this as an egalitarian, they only take people that come into their realm. When you're dropped off on their doorstep, again, you have been badly, badly manipulated. It is a mental abuse to get you to the point that you are now. If you decide, and 99% of the people who are dropped off on the doorstep decide to walk through, if you walk through into Utok's claws, you have not made an informed decision. You have been lied to and manipulated to the point that you couldn't save your life if you wanted to. Yeah, you are voluntarily, by your own choice and your own free will, walking through that door. But you are so badly, badly mangled up here. That is nowhere near free choice. Utak is vile. Not evil, but vile. And I love him. <laughs> And I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab. Going to go through and thank how many people have left me comments in the past 24 hours. I get weird and inconsistent views on my Oblivion videos now. One video will get like 100 views if I'm lucky. And then the next one has like 1,000. And then the next one I struggle to get 100 again. I have no idea what's going on. But I am thankful for anybody that watches anything at all that I do. If I mispronounce the username, no disrespect is intended, and even though I count American Sign Language, well, you've already seen how my brain works. So let me call it my Chrome, since I use Chrome for that. There is Moon Knight, thumbs up and thank you. PR0ZA1CDR3AM2 in 81U3. I guess it's like prosaic drama in blue, but it's written in basically lead speak. <laughs> Thumbs up and thank you. Mr. Bubby, greatly appreciated. And, and oh, I never thought the Wood Elves were quite as, as lunatics as they are, but boy, they are so far just absolutely insane in oblivion. There's a little sleazy. Thumbs up and thank you. Confused Owl 29, greatly appreciated. Flora Mew, always good to see you in the comments. And yeah, we need a word for that. Jesse Koskinen, thumbs up. Good to see you in the comments. And I've been having fun. Boy, that crash though. Oh, now I gotta go back and refight them in the crypt to get back where I was. <laughs> Mona Lisa, thumbs up and thank you very much. There is Bosch who has helped once again on how to refilm the charges on my magical items. I keep forgetting while I'm playing. Ugh. J A Double Y, thumbs up and thank you. Not Kuro. <laughs> hey, Tamriel is just all oh, horribly racist. I love it. There is Ben B. Thumbs up and thank you. Did I already thank Lucas? Lucas, greatly appreciated. Uh, wasabi covered nuts. Thank you all so very much. 14 of you. Good to see you as well. And thank you all, each and every one of you. You get me out of my head and into the world and dealing with real people. And that is appreciated to no end. Thumbs up for that. Well, hokey smokes, I'm gonna try and do some more phone calls today, as well as go out walkies and do some, hopefully, video recording. So that'll be very, very cool. A definite thumbs up on that. Hopefully you can get done the things that you wanna get done. Of course, if you can't, survival is more important. Make it through the day. Do what you can. Don't beat yourself up for what you can't. And with the Kafefe bug of raging, please, be as smart as you can. Take the precautions that are appropriate for your area. Get vaccinated. Get boosted. It's surging. People are dying. Don't throw your body onto the corpse pile before it's your time. Ugh. <laughs> so, until we meet again, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, and quite frankly, I actually do think that is a very good idea. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands.